Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the maximum amount of money that you can as a solo player with your nightclub. The nightclub is an incredible passive business, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. And I'm sure one of the first things you're noticing right now is my popularity is on zero. That is because, as you guys know, I do a lot of videos on this channel, mainly like the KO Perico, the fastest, easiest way to do it, all of that good stuff. But I've been slacking on the nightclub, just coming by every now and then to make sure the popularity stays high. But no fear, I'm going to show you a very fast way to get that popularity full, especially if you've got a little bit of money in the bank like I do right now. So before I get into that, let me show you what you need. I'm sure you already have all of this stuff, but just in case you don't, what do you need to make the most money with the nightclub? So the first thing you need to do is make sure you source out all of your technicians. This is an incredible passive business, but it also works intertwined with all your other businesses. For example, you can see right there, we have the cargo shipments, which somebody sourced to, which currently, as you can see by the exclamation point, they're not working on it, but that's because my, um, my bunker is sourcing research right now, not cargo. So there's research going on, so he's not doing anything for that. And obviously, the more MC businesses you have, which are going to be these ones right here, obviously, cash creation, Coca-Cola factory, things like that. Those are also going to produce money for your nightclub. Now, as you can see right here, this is what we're going to be selling here today. But we're going to get a lot more money than that because we're going to be doing it in a full public lobby. Hopefully, we can get one as full as possible. But as you can see, out of those things that I've sourced, all of them, 50 out of 50, 100 out of 100, everything is absolutely maxed out. And then obviously on upgrades, we've also completely upgraded the entire nightclub. But before we get into this, let's go ahead and show you guys my popularity is low. So before I even get to selling, I want to get that popularity full so that my safe ride here is going to full up, full up, fill up even faster. So this is what you're going to have to do. So go ahead and come down into your... Well, it's not really a garage here. You have like one vehicle parked in here, which I haven't touched in months. Uh, <laughs> but you're going to go ahead, come to your elevator right here. Go to basement level one or two, whichever one is your favorite. And as soon as you come out, just go ahead and head into your warehouse. You can have a PC right in here. Now, like I say, this is to get your popularity up as full as possible. If you have some cash... Like, I'm pretty wealthy in this game. I do a lot of other things to make money. So for me, I just want to get that up as fast as possible. And I'm going to pay to get it all the way up instead of having to do missions. So to do that, just go over to Resident DJ. And then what you're going to do is press play audio. And then when you hit play audio, go ahead and rebook and then rebook and then rebook and then rebook and then rebook. Re you're literally just going to go back and forth between these and I'll show you how it works. And again, this is if you have money because it is going to cost you like 100 grand. So anyway, if we go ahead, play audio. And then rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm. Okay, so we've done that like five times. So let me go ahead and back out of here. You can see at the top there, nightclub popularity is still empty. So once we've backed out, if we just go ahead and go into this one more time, look at that. Look at our nightclub popularity. So that cost me 50k to get it up to there. So let's go ahead and spend another 40k. So I'm just going to play audio. Rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm, rebook, confirm. So that's 90,000. Let's see if that's gone ahead and filled it all the way up. And there you have it. 90,000 is what it costs for me to fill this thing all the way up. And to be honest with you, for me, that is 100% worth it. For you, you may think, you know what? I, I, this just seems like a waste because it's, you know, that's the amount of money I'll get from my safe. No, because now I've got it all the way up. I can just pop in every hour or so and do one of those little missions. And also, when it comes to those missions, if you know what I'm talking about, when he calls you and says, hey, we've got a drunk guy in the bathroom, throw him out. Those are the ones we love. They take 10 seconds. But if they do call you and say, hey, we have somebody, a VIP that needs dropping off at home. We hate doing those. It takes so long and there is a way around it. So let's go ahead and head back into our nightclub and I'll show you exactly how you can avoid the uh, the missions where you have to drive. Okay, we're back. Now, as soon as we get on these stairs here, we should get someone calling us saying we need to kick someone out. So let's see if that works or see if that happens. There you go. Hey boss, Tony's pissed about someone ruining the vibe just off the dance floor. Dude went right past drunk straight into the zombie. You want to escort them out. So that's the one we like. We love that, right? We don't want to have to do that again. All you're going to have to do is run back down here just like this go back into the basement and then go back to your nightclub and now you can see that blue marker is gone it's not on my mini map there anymore so now when i run back up here again it should there you go 
We got a cosmetic kick with a fuss. He's causing a scene. I should just call the last day, show him the door. So it's the same mission, luckily for me, because I, you know, prefer that one anyway. But if you do get one that says you need to drop someone back off at home, just do what I just did. Just run on down to the elevator, go to like one of the levels and then come straight back to here and you'll get another mission. So if you're wanting to keep up with this and you just can't be bothered driving them, because some of them are far. Some of them you have to go all the way up to like the lake and stuff like that. We don't want to deal with that. So that's all you have to do. Just FYI for your faces. So now you can see our wall save, the money's starting to trickle in. Our popularity is now full. You may be thinking your nightclub looks awful. Yes, this is the most basic theme of a nightclub you can get. I haven't paid any money to do this thing up. So I'll probably end up doing it as soon as they go on sale again. Uh, when you can get all the customizations on sale. I'll probably do it then, but I'm a tight ass with my money, you know what I mean? So, and it doesn't bother me. It's just cosmetic. So anyway, the last thing we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go ahead and sell a full, full nightclub stock solo in a public lobby so let's go ahead and do that all right so let's go ahead search for a public lobby and see if we can find one that has a pretty decent amount of people in it okay so our first one only has seven that's not good enough we need more okay that's more like it ladies and gentlemen you can see we've got a lot of people in here so the first thing i do is we'll go into online and look at the players now the reason i do this is because i'm on pc and the main issue you have selling things in PC lobbies is hackers. All of the griefers in PC tend to be hackers. I know if you're playing on console, you don't really have hacking on console. So all the griefers are just people flying around on bloody Oppressor Mark IIs. So the first thing I look for is looking at their uh, level. And as you can see right here, there's nothing out of the ordinary. So let's go down to the next page. And there we go. Nothing out of the ordinary. Seems like a pretty decent lobby. Not really any people in here that have like a level 666 or level 1000 or 6,000 or 8,000. That's typically what I look out for. Okay, so we're ready. I also keep an eye on the feed, as you can see on the left there. Obviously, it's complaining about my bottleneck of the, bottleneck of the mint there, but um, I also keep an eye on that and just see if there's anyone just absolutely slaughtering people, and there's nothing going on there either. So I think we are ready to start selling. Now, real quick, before we start this up, um, I am going to be using the ghost dog feature, which everyone has, and I'll show you how to do that while we're doing it and when I use it. But one of the things I've noticed, and I've said this in other videos, I think I mentioned it last time on the warehouse video, because we've done this how to warehouse, we've done how to bunker, now we're doing how to nightclub. But one of the things I mentioned is hackers love it when people do ghost mode. When they go like incognito, they're like, oh, they get all excited. Like, oh, you think you can hide from me? I can cheat, I can cheat and find out where you are. And I feel like a lot of times when I do cell missions, as soon as I go into ghost mode, that's when the hackers come after me. So sometimes I feel like it's even better not to even go into it. But we're going to be doing it here today anyway. All right, we've gone on to sell goods, sell all goods. Are you sure? Yes, I am, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be in our truck. I don't really... I haven't upgraded this as much as I probably should, but it is what it is. All right, a bounty has been set on. Okay, just don't put bounties on me. I would appreciate it. So we're not going to get the uh, global signal just yet. It should come out here in a minute. We don't have any weapons or anything on this thing. Okay, so you can see I've got 20 seconds until we get that global signal. So we're going to hover here and wait for the global signal to go off. And as soon as it does, as soon as it gets down to like one, then we're going to go ahead and trigger this. So five, four, three, two, one, go ahead. Okay, so I've just paid some money on that. Now we have ghost dog for three minutes. Like I say, hackers seem to really love ghost dogs. So I'm going to hope I can actually hear explosions going off, which is never a good idea. Or never a good thing. But I'm going to hope that there's no hackers in this lobby. Because we have activated Ghost Dog. And like I said, they love it. There's nothing a hacker loves more than somebody that's trying to hide from them. If there's people just doing their own thing, it seems like they don't care. But if you're trying to actively hide from them, they start throffing at the mouth, ladies and gentlemen. They get so excited. So I'm just going to hope... Oh no, don't, don't, don't fall. I'm just going to hope... That, that doesn't happen here today. So let's just go ahead. And as you can see, we've got 20 minutes to do this. 18 minutes and a half left. Uh, it's about four. It was about four miles to the location. Now, these missions, it could be straightforward. It could be where you get there and then you have to go to a decoy and you've got to move to another location. I'm going to hope that that's not the case for this one. Because obviously this time uh, our ghost dog is going to end here soon. But we can also call Lister. Uh, we may have to call Lister to get rid of the police because if we do go somewhere where there's a decoy and you've got to move locations, 
yeah, it's not easy because then the police come after you and you've got to like lose the cops before you can get to the location. But to do that, the best, easiest way to do it is to just give Lester a call and ask him to get rid of the police. So if that does happen, you'll see me doing that here today. But if it doesn't happen, then we're Gucci. So let's go ahead and speed this part up just a tad until we get a little bit off this highway here. All right, we're coming off the highway. I was going to try and cut across the highway right there to speed it up a little bit, but it's fine. So what I'm going to assume is going to happen here is we're going to get to the location. Since I this is a very familiar spot, we're going to get there and it's going to say the buyer got spooked. You're going to have to go to another spot. We've got 30 seconds left on our ghost dog. Um, I'm going to go up. Let's actually get Lister on the phone here. I said Lister, it's Lester. Okay, so it's gonna. You can see the question mark. Search for the buyer. What do you need exactly? Okay, so off the radar. How much is that? Five hundred, but it's unavailable. Just gonna hold on to it here for now. So we need to search for the buyer. All right, where is this guy? I cannot remember where he is. I can get it scrambled for a minute. All right, we've gone off the radar again. All right, well, that's really frustrating. Do we see anything here? I do not. Let's continue our little search. We've done Ghost Dog again, but we're going to have to wait now. It's literally like four minutes until we can do it. Oh, there's right there. I see him. Okay. You're welcome, sir. All right, now the best thing for me to do right now is probably... Hmm. I was going to say let's grab a... Let's see if I can go do services, Kasaka, vehicle, Sparrow. That thing that just blew up, we don't need to worry about that. That thing that ju just... Really? That thing that just blew up was literally our... Uh, I put a mine down by accident. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard it. All I heard was a beep and I'm like, okay, yeah, I've definitely just gone ahead and put a mine down. All right, now we're just going to fly on out of here since it says leave the area. And we should be good to go. You can see that was fairly simple. There we go. 2.38275 million. So instead of the 1.8 that we were going to get, we got a lot more. So that is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I hope this helps some of you out. Or it helps you get a little bit more confident. Now, there is missions, obviously, that you can do where you get there and it says the buyer has been spooked. If that is the case, uh, call Lester because the police will be on you and just have him get rid of the, the police. So pay off the wanted level and then use the other ghost mode through Lester. You have two ghost mode, one through CEO, which lasts three minutes, I believe, or four minutes. And then you have one through Lester that lasts one minute. Um, so that's what I would recommend for you guys to do. And as always, I say this quite often in these videos, you got to keep in mind that not all the time are people looking out for you. They're not always trying to kill you. Like there's so many times in these games when I'm jumping into a public lobby and I see people are selling um, and I never go near them. I just never go near them. I let them do their thing. Obviously, griefers are going to be looking out for stuff like that. But as you can see, this was a fairly simple one and we made some bank ladies and gentlemen so anyway i hope you enjoyed that video guys if you did please consider hitting that like button subscribe if you're new turn on notifications so you can see more videos just like this one and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i shall see you guys as always tomorrow with a brand new video goodbye